Heart of the Earth. Item Number, SCP-188-KO. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-188-KO should be known as a tower crane used for construction on halt for unknown reasons. To aid this cover story, a steel frame structure wrapped in opaque polymer sheets is built around SCP-188-KO. Civilian access should be restricted from entering the building. The crane's hoisting motor is to be covered with sound insulation to prevent any noise the motor makes from leaking outside. The global nature of SCP-188-KO's effects calls for concentrated efforts on public information containment. The Foundation plans undercover agents and academies covering SCP-188-KO's effect-related fields, such as geology, climatology, and astronomy. These agents are then to destroy or manipulate any information related to SCP-188-KO through amnestics and manipulating academic papers. However, information containment seems difficult after prolonged operation of SCP-188-KO when the crane's anomaly becomes obvious to the general public. The long-term hazards that SCP-188-KO poses triggered research to destroy or deactivate the tower crane safely. Agents with related research data are to report to rank 4 188 researchers. Description SCP-188-KO is a blank, meter-tall, T-shaped tower crane located in Redacted, Samoa. Its frame is composed of an unknown metal, which cannot be destroyed by other methods than melting it with high heat. Footnote. The material's melting point reaches up to 250,000 Kelvin. SCP-188-KO's hoisting device. Footnote. The device located on the rear of the crane. It has a motor inside and also serves as a weight. Is surrounded by metal plates and is the only part of SCP-188-KO that cannot be destroyed. No equipment in the operating room except for the internal control panel functions, but the elevator functions normally. SCP-188-KO's foundation seems to reach a depth of over blank kilometers. SCP-188-KO's exposed wire rope is approximately 6,377.5 kilometers long, extending underground through a hole about one meter in diameter, located in front of the crane's foundation. The internal control panel indicates that the tip of the wire, referred to as hook in this document, is currently 6,377.4 kilometers underground. However, direct observation of the hook is unavailable due to its immense depth. SCP-188-KO pulls its wire for one second from 12 PST, noon, every day. The pulled wire rope appears to be reeled into the hoisting device's wire drum, but the volume and mass of the device do not change. The pulling speed is very slow, approximating at 0.05 millimeters per second. The Earth's center of gravity follows up the hook 0.05 millimeters daily, or 1.8 centimeters annually, causing global changes in the atmospherical and oceanic currents. To date, the gravitational center of the Earth has shifted approximately blank meters towards SCP-188-KO from its original position. The shift in gravity resulted in sea levels in the Pacific Ocean rising twice as fast as the estimates based on global warming and slowly drawing in polar glaciers towards the Pacific. Also, the moon's slight movement and small differences in atmospheric pressure between the Pacific and Atlantic have been observed. Moreover, the island itself that SCP-188-KO currently stands on is likely to be completely submerged in water in at least blank years. It's being considered covering it with large waterproof barriers to prevent damage to SCP-188-KO. Calculations from the hook's movement speed estimate that the crane will cause a prolonged XK-class end-of-the-world scenario until 2000 blank. Destruction of the wire rope by melting it has been proposed after SCP-188-KO was proven dangerous. However, the proposal was temporarily rejected as the pulled gravitational center crashing to the center of the Earth may cause data expunged on a global scale. 
SCP-188-KO was found in a construction site in Redacted, Samoa. Local civilians reported that SCP-188-KO appeared out of the blue, but is without further evidence as no nearby cameras were recording the subject. The locals were treated with Class 4 amnestic treatment.